Hello everyone, I'm Son of Beast, and I'm Mephone. As the regular season is officially complete, and now we are about to step in the, the NBA, NBA playoffs. playoffs on 2K Sports. It's next after this. What's up, Son of Beast here, and along with me and Mifo, this is the NBA Playoffs. The next matchup is the first game of the Cleveland Cavs versus the Milwaukee Bucks in the Eastern Conference Playoff game. That is correct. It's time to make this shine bright, and we're about to see who will win the first game of the season. It's the Cavs starting lineup, Starius Garland, Karis LeVert, Isaac Okoro, Laurie Markkinen, and Evan Mobley. And on the buck side, we have Drew Holiday, Grayson Allen, Chris Middleton, Giannis Antetokounmpo, and Bobby Portis Jr. Let's take you down to the Pfizer Dot Forum for today's coverage of this presentation of the NBA Eastern Conference Playoffs. Let the games begin! It's a lot of work out there, but there is more that we bring here. Cavs, Bucks, on NBA 2K Sports, the playoffs, next. Let's bring it right over as we see me and me phone along with David Eldridge. Here's Dave. Kevin, thank you. Chris Middleton has been underrated for so long that now is he rated? Giannis Adentacumbo said, people don't know how much Chris's sacrifice for this team would be great. He could easily be a 25-point game scorer in the league, but he just wants to win. He knows that by doing that, everything else is going to take care of itself. Kevin? He's, an He's a, like an all-star legendary. Thank you, David. And here's a look here of Grayson Allen with his play of this one. 45 percentage and 59 percentage here for this season. And the last 10 games was 57 percentage and 75 percentage of the rebound. The lineups are currently on the board here as Ivan Kumpo take on Markinen with the key matchup. And it's Darius Garland and Drew Holiday. Karis LeVert against Chris Middleton. Of course, you always know that Chris Middleton definitely did want to see him again. But we're not sure what his future going to be. If he wanted to sign the contract with the other guys, like the Detroit Pistons, because you know there aren't any great players around here. A lot of them mostly got traded already. That's what the, that's what the problem is. And we may not be seeing how well they play. And we have a three, and we lift it off from here. Fueled up and ready for action. Of game one, Bucks and Cavs. What a drive here for Drew Holiday as he will pick up his first bucket in the game. Here's Garland, right to Levert. Levert, right to Garland. Now he goes right back to Mobley. Levert in again with the shot, and it's off target away, and it's Middleton with the rebound. Now he goes to Holiday. Holiday to Allen. Holiday moving to Middleton. 10 seconds to shoot, Middleton right on the carry, 5 to shoot, Portis over Garland, rebounded by Ana Kupo, and he gets it in there, the foul's on Markkinen, his first foul, first team foul on the Cleveland. 5.08 is stopped, and Ana Kupo will head the free throw line to shoot one. And that's what you can call him, nobody gets guarding him on Ana Kupo, one man. One man has to cover here for just a quick moment to get right in. Now Giannis Antetokounmpo will head to the free throw line to shoot one. And with him, he was the finals MVP he has done to bring out with the other players as much. With Chris Middleton, Drew Holiday, and just how incredible do you feel? I always agree. This is a lot of working on their transition. They really have a lot of moment that they wanted to do. I think they can do it again. You think so? Yeah, I, well, you're telling me. If they can do it again, they, they might do it in our way. Well, I guess uh, you could be right, 
but we might have to find out if they can try to fix it up. Here's Middleton on a coral. He goes right to the middle on the Kupo. Rebounded again. It's good. I had a Kupo with a number two. Now I had a Kupo really got a great look. The Greek freak has rised himself again. I think his new legendary season of the year can be the next one to step up. Garland with the fade. Three pointer for Levert. It's rebounded by Holiday. 420 to go here in the first period. It's 6 2. And yes, I hope you all enjoyed the final four, including the national championship of the NCAA men and women's basketball. What do you think? How that feels? Well, I'm not that securely surprised because of all how that played. I think they are awesome. They're doing a really great job here playing in New Orleans for the men's and the women's at Minnesota in Minneapolis. Levert with the scoring of the dunk, and that will be the foul that was given up here on the Bucks. First team foul. Now Levert will have to shoot free throw, shooting one at the free throw line. And Levert has it. It's been an outstanding year since we've seen the uh, college bangs to get drafted. I think we're going to see how well he can do. You know what? I like to see the uh, new players coming in here. If they can play it with the different teams, or they can definitely do it any other way. And if not, maybe there are some players that can be playing here on the G League. That might be a good idea. A reverse drive for by the Kupo, and they are up by three. They definitely did have out of the group around here. You know why? Because everybody loves it. Three-pointer no good for the Cavs. Here's on the Kumpo, right to Middleton. Middleton attacking the run, and it's fouled by Evan Mobley. That'll be the first second team foul on Cleveland. Just about 3.26 to go. Shooting two will be Chris Middleton. There will be two free throws coming up here for the Bucks. And there he is, you see there's Mike Budenholzer, the head coach for the for the Milwaukee Bucks. Had a great night here, and there is your banner on your right, the world champions. Yeah, I know. How definitely would you have to be if you really like to see that one? Well, I think you would have to uh you have to think about it even more because the Bucks, they really love their domination. I think we, they can get three in a row. Well, we'll see about that. Just about later here for real. The second free throw for Middleton is good. Right now it's 325 left to play here in the first quarter. Garland find Mobley. Levert to Mo Markkinen. Markkinen back to Levert. Okoro hits the triple and they were up by two. Trying to, trying to squeeze it in here just that tight. But it's really not hard what they can try to do to try to make their run even more smoother. Ida Kupo on Markkinen. Finds Allen. Allen just got a piece of that one. Allen the Koopa with the assist. It's 12-8 score. They're trying to work their way around. Garland right over to Okoro. Okoro to Levert. Back to Okoro. He steps it up, and that's another miss making a shot for Garland as he as Okoro gets five points. Five points has turned out to be Okoro. His man may be not tough enough to be strong. Nice D here for Levert as he will pick it up the other way. Okoro right to Markkinen. Right over to Levert. Right over to Garland. Garland moving around. Finds Levert. And a three for Garland. That's good. They up on the lead. And that will be Darius Garland with the first three-pointer of the game. Darius Garland, he really sees a lot of workouts, but when his plays 
comes in with a, by the handle of his bone. I think the Team Cavs already have won the Skills Challenge. But I think another, another look at the drive, it could be different. Oh, look out below. Karis LeBert with the drive and dunk. Don't want to mess him up. Of course you don't want to mess him up. That's a, that's a lot of work out. I think that LeBert might need to do it all a good open look here for Ryan Akupo, but it didn't really carry it out. Another miss here for Milwaukee. Lavert, right over to Markkanen. Markkanen helps the screen, but he stays out of trouble here for the screen. With the shot, it's missed the line. Portis Jr. with the rebound, and Ryan Akupo with the ball. Ryan Akupo, right on Garland. Pushes it through, and he's fouled by Darius Garland. That'll be the third team foul for Cleveland. And as for being said, Ryan Akumpo is really dominating a run. I think he could be going for another MVP finals. What do you think, there, phone? Well, like, I guess there might be another one, but there might be some other teams that haven't won the finals yet. Since many years ago, I think there might be another, another uh, chance if we can try to fix things up a bit, to do it on number one. That's first free throw, it's good. And now a new change is coming in as Love is checking in with all the five players. Osmond, Stevens, Windler, and Rajon Rondo are checked in. And only three players are checked out and checked in. Connaughton, Nora, and Lopez. The name of Brooke. Brooke Lopez. That's his guy. We always care about him. How does he do? Well, Brooke Lopez, he really has got a great look of his eye. But I think Bobby Portis Jr. really did show, his, show off for the starting five of his lineup. That might be his run. Here's Rondo finding Osmond is up. And a nice D here for Ina Kupo. Connaughton right on Windler. Windler finds Lopez. Love on the carry. Trying to deflect the pass, but it's past the New Orleans. Six to shoot. Connaughton working her way around with the shot. It's knocked out. Rebounded. Lopez up, it's good! Cooper flying Brooke Lopez is a great pass where you got it here. And that will be his assist of the game. Stevens in the corner, he finds Osmond. Right around him, and no problem here getting around him. But he might be having a hard time to keep it a shot. Well, that's my choice, just do it your bet. Kupo slamming in the dead paint, and they are extending up to three. With a deep three, can he do it? No, it's not. He didn't make it at all, and that ends the first quarter. It's 20 to 17 run. Bucks lead by three. We'll be right back after this in the five serve dot forum. Yes, I'm to see you. Get on social media. That's it. Just spend time with your family, spend time with your teammate, and just come here and do your job. I think uh, you don't single against yourself. You, know, you just go out there and play hard and uh, give everything to the team without thinking about nothing else. All right, we're back here for the second quarter. We are starting right now here as Cleveland trail by three. Their last playoff game, they made it all the way to the NBA Finals since 2016 17. And of course, 2018 for their run. How does it feel now to be seeing them win the uh, the first time ever for the Cavs to win the finals? Uh, I guess uh, I guess they might be another of a good option. I don't know what to say about them, but the Cavs they did really did work their way around a bit. They they played awesome. They played great. And Brooke Lopez reversing the layup and they are putting up another two. Here's Rondo. He passes up to Windler. Finds Love. Now he finds Rondo on Rondo. 
Rondo squeezed in the paint, and it's Love with the assist. They're down by one. Rajon Rondo, he really had got a lot of it better. But he might need to be playing here for another one to keep it better. And it's another two-pointer for Drew Holiday. They are up again by three. Stevens up at the ball on Nora. Rondo finds Windler. Bounce pass to Osmond. Fates back again. Stevens for three. And it's no good again for Cavaliers as they missed another three-pointer triple. Again, Arna Kupo! Are you kidding me? That is the best play I've ever seen before. I agree. The most best player that gets the handle, he's strong, he's turning to be a legend. Stevens right over back to Love. Rondo back to Stevens. Back over to Rondo and it's deflected away. All day up. No fouls given here for Cavs and a three for Connaughton. Good! That's another three-pointer ball for the Bucks, And that's another one for Connaughton to hit their run the start. Love for two. That's good. That's the first bucket for Love as they will pick it up by six. Kevin Love really needs to know why is he here back on the court. And he wasn't able to play here his last couple seasons due to pandemic. Well, he's not even proven out there at all. He decided to return to 2021 and 22 season. And that was his correct thoughts to be back here. Now the next timeout is called by the Bucks with another one with only 334 remaining in the second quarter of the first half. So far, only a couple players need a lot of hydration out there, and we might need to see how this gets there better. Ten rebounds for the Bucks, four for the Cavaliers, nine assists for the Cavs, and seven for the Bucks. One steal was broken up, and the one in the first turnover was being put up on the Cavaliers. Yeah, they really need to know that better. They really got to get better at that point. They can't lose the man here on offense, and if they have a bad pass, you're going to need to go over and start all over again. Now some new changes are being here. Serge Abaka on the court and looking for Darius Garland. Only 17.4 was his new points average record as broken in. Oh yes. Darius Garland really did see that one coming, but that's a great play of how well he has trained. Allen switches over to Middleton. Screen on, on Middleton. Drives up, it's rebounded off on Mobley. Marketing right to Okoro. Garland right to Mobley. He goes up over Lopez, and that is in there as they are down by four. Garland has got his first bucket in the game. Only three minutes to play here in the first half. Middleton working their way around a bit, and a screen not going to go for him. Now he swatches back. Middleton can't handle the two. Marketing. Back to Moby. Moby to Garland. The Cavs work their way around with another ball pass moment to try to fix their possession. Okoro inside two. It's no good. That's another miss for Cavaliers as Baca will take the first rebound. The Serge Baca, he was played here for the Los Angeles Clippers, but now his newer season is with the Bucks. I'm pretty sure we're going to see what we can do, but we won't be surprising him if he wants to go for it. Oh, Mobley with the block, and he turned around the other way. Two minutes remaining, two on one attack. Oh, my! How did Karis LeVert do that? Well, he did. I know that Markkinen did put up the uh, two-point pointer down, but I think he wanted to go for the assists. So, he's decided to change it up a bit. That's a great play. Another miss by Milwaukee Bucks. It's now Markkinen with the ball. Will slow down the pacing angle, but it might be a little 
pushing out there too hard if he wanted to go keep it going. Okura finds Levert. And here's Mobley with a two-pointer up and shots off. Now it goes back to Allen. Allen on Mobley. Screen on Ibaka. And this will be a kickball as Bucks will keep their possession in. And a one more good block by Mobile One with the tumble. It was Mobile. Mobile really had it all. But he didn't really want to uh, take the advantage out there. And so what he had to do, he really wanted to take it the round the other way. He's done a well, fantastic job. I like that. Just a minute and 14 to play here in the first half. It's 29 to 27. Cavs trail by two. Middleton, good open look, but he couldn't connect the number two pointer average. Levert in the drive, and that's good. Levert is converting a number two pointer, and that's 11 points in the game. Allen on Garland finds Matthews, and ball's tipped. But has the ball, go right away. And another steal! That's another turnover here. First turnover turned out to be Milwaukee. Now the person's getting cold for Allen. Markkanen looks up, and he got it in there. Now they're in the lead by two. Allen over again, and Bucks will call another timeout here with 34.9 seconds. They just got a lot of it done. Most importantly, I would say, is that they may need to uh, switch it up here on the man-to-man -man defenders out there. They can't be losing the players right from the outside if they wanted to keep it going. But now they're already, um, like, you know, they're trying to keep it things going. Not too much out there. And for a lot of key average here, most takes here for the Bucks, what is your, what is your average for your players to be heading over to be the way of the Kia ladder of the MVP. Well, the ladder MVP really has, has, uh, is a lot about a lot of changes, a lot, a lot of uh, different sections of the side. But if there's another way to keep an eyes on them, that we might be sure that they might be coming back in here. I have no questions for that one, but there isn't any of the players that made it to the MVP. Neither than the Anaconda Kubo, but only Finals MVP was only him. And now another another different look here for our Cavs as marketing is checked out, and Holiday is checked back in. Kevin Love is checked back in too. Matthews for deep three. You bet. You bet. They are up in the lead. Wesley Matthews really haven't seen him play it back in 2020. Of his game, he's like a he's like a tough man as you ever get. He's back. Levert right to Garland, and Garland up. He goes with the drive and makes the layup. Karis Levert, another assist here. Ten seconds remaining. Middleton. Middleton try to work her way around, and with the buzz beater, good. Middleton got it, and he had a lead. The Cavs have to close it here. Man, how do you see that? I don't know what to say, but this is like how that pressure is up there. They're still alive. We'll catch you on the break here, but David Ollie just on the sideline. David. Thank you, DA. We'll be right back after this. Well played for the first half. Let's have a first half recap of the game. The first half status are on the board. 
Thanks for joining with us. Let's head you back on the court at Milwaukee. Welcome back to Milwaukee at the Fiserv.forum. We're happy to glad to be back with you as we're about to start the third quarter. It's 34-33 with the temptation of Giannis Anacumpo. Your player have gotten a lot much better here, better than the last season. I think I think it's very hard because other players are doing really, really uh, doing a lot of perfect job out there. But if we see the Heat and the Bucks. I think there might be another solution that we can try to fix things up again. Marketing on Giannis. Garland up. He finds Levert. Back to Garland. The ball moving around quickly for the Cavs. The two for Marketing. It's no good. Another free, free shot didn't have able to stop it. Nice way up drive and Allen is back in there. They're up by three, and here's Levert trying to work their way around a bit. Oh, he says, excuse me. I don't know what he did. It looks like he was trying to kind of loose up someone's ankle on Allen. I don't I don't really see anything, any problems. If, if there's another solution that I, that I like to see what happened, well, it's very that hard. Trust me. And Giannis Antetokounmpo is really putting up a lot of pressure. What a play. Cleveland trailing by three. Mobley up on Bobby Portis. Levert switching over again. Screen on marketing coming. Right to marketing. He goes up and a great pass here by Levert. They are going back up by one if they make another shot, but now they're trailing by one. Allen finds Portis with a three. It's no good. Levert with the ball. Now he changed up to Markkanen. Finds Garland. Oh, what a pass. And they are up by one. Now they have that pressure. Darius Garland really did see that one coming. Four or five remaining. Anakupo. Going in, got it. He is not quitting here for the first game, but he has gotten a lot of points average so far. Here's a Coro. Right over to Levert. Levert trying to mess him around. Bounce pass to Markinen. Markin goes up, missed fires on his target, and Markinen couldn't save it back. They still have the ball covered. Holiday on Garland, three for Middleton, it's in! Drew Holiday with the assist, and they are still up again. Now they're about to be going back again on defense. Garland right to Levert. Without, without Jared Allen, we may not know what he will be doing without those guys. Okoro. Finds him, and out of time, no shot count, and that goes with the Bucks ball. With under three minutes, a new change is going in for Crow on Levert to be checked out. And now we Osmond and Stevens back in. Our players are doing a lot harder than they had, but I think the two on three zone may be a little bit covered. Another rebound here for Cleveland, and oh, Bordis Jr. Just got a ball, but he couldn't make the shot at that point. So it's take number three for the Cavs. Marginet right over to Stevens. And offensive foul calls on Stevens. That will be his first no team foul at all. That's a that's a whoops. And they definitely did have it, have it out there. Not the best one to be here. They really need to try to work their way around a bit without the charge. And a steal is broken up as Brown. Rondo, it's knocked out as Nora gets a rebound. Connaughton, pass to Ibaka, Nora for three. Good! It's Ibaka with the assist, and they are trying to make their way on a dominated run. 
They really got a bad, better angle. Not really sure what they could do, but they really got all of it. Stevens makes a drive as they swung, goes back up by, back down by five. They're trying to trail up here, but they really need to get up into it. I absolutely. Oh, Lopez, watch up! Drew Holiday has got an assist, and Brooke Lopez says, easy come, easy go. What a play here. Osmond for three. It's no good. Another missed three-pointer for Cleveland. Norwell Connaughton alone. You bet. You bet. It's Connaughton with a three-pointer and Norwell with the assist. They're up by ten. Osmond right over to Markkinen. Up and overhand by Osmond. Up again. Count it. That's Markkinen with the assist and Osmond gets his second bucket. Osmond's not the only man that he really wants to keep it going. But I don't think we may not be letting him do a little bit of with the activity work. We might need to do another one to keep an eye on. Ibaka didn't able to answer. And it's another fighting rebound for the Cavs as they turn it back the other way. Rondo, it's a bad pass. A turnover on Cleveland. Here comes Holiday. Oh! Holiday! Slams it down, and they're back up by 10. Wow, Drew Holiday. That's a lot of uh, reaction out there. I, I, I can't do it that high. I, I have nothing to say about that. That's a, that's a one incredible run. Without Giannis, I, we would have seen him stun even more better. I'd like to see the 360 windmill. Clock winding down. Nora missing the three, 10 seconds. Marketing. Pass over to Stevens. And trying to work the run. Love with the buzz meter. It's no good. That's the end of the third quarter. It's 53 43. Bucks lead by 10. And we have one more to play. Be right with you after these messages. And now let's have a look here. State Farm assist of the game. No Bucks can be another higher of the average pointer. When I talk about the average pointer for the Bucks, they really got a good look here. Giannis, he really has got it so far. I think that's for him to be the best player. So far, three quarters are finished, but now this is the last one for the regulation of the playoff first game. Here's Holiday. He tried to wrap around it, but he didn't really able to have it. Matthews for three. That's good. They're up by 13. Wesley Matthews has got number two three-pointers here in the game. They've done a lot of well performed. Marketing. Swoops. And it shots off. Ibaka with a foul. That'll be a number team foul on Milwaukee. 531 remaining in the fourth quarter. As another free free throw pointer will be averaging up for Marketing to be at the free throw line for Cap Elias. Only Lavert has made it to the free throw line. But now it's Marketing's turn. That's the first good free throw for marketing. And join us for the next game for tomorrow. It will be the Memphis Grizzlies and the Minnesota Timberwolves that will be happening here for the first game at Memphis. Along with me, me phone, and all the commentators will be definitely be here. I will be back to take another look at the other end. Once returning to Pittsburgh, I will be able to take another video ahead. Here's Holiday. He will take the around the other, other angle. Screen on the Kumpo. Porter's Jr. in the way. Allen in the corner. And they're moving around quickly. And Allen can't able to hit the throw. Another one. Porter's Jr. got it. It's a number two for Porter's Jr. And they are about to be bombing it up on the number one. Levert. 
carrying a drive. Oh my! Levert did it again. That's three dunks in a row. What does this happen there, me phone? I have no idea. <laughs> well, that's a that's a great uh, that's a great drive. I I think that's uh, three times in a row for Lucas Levert. Levert dropped the airway. And a three-pointer, man, oh man. They really got a lot better. Okoro, right to love. Back pass to Levert, and a two, deflected by the Greek freak. Of Giannis on the Kupo. Garland, right to Okoro. Five to shoot. And another one, bad pass here, and that will be another turnover on Cleveland. Middleton for three. It's no good. Another missed three-pointer out of range target keeps it out of trouble. Levert, right to Garland. Garland with the ball. Try to hold him loose, but doesn't want him to stay together. Five to shoot. Marking it up. That's good. That's another two-pointer for marketing. And speaking of marketing and how he has done, he has already played with the Chicago Bulls here last season. But now for this season, it might be hard to take. What a successful alley oop! And that turns out to be another timeout for the Cavaliers. Wow, Giannis, he's like a fierce man. You won't be believing this one when he is just a killer on the first round. They have it all dominated out of the range. And now this one calls for a next timeout. In between, the, uh, in between the comparisons out there, we only have seen 16 rebounds for the Cavs, 20 for the Bucks, 21 assists for the Cavs, and 18 for the Bucks. Two steals only has broken things up, and one block, and six turnovers here for the Cavaliers. Six turnovers, that's gonna be way, way much. If they're adding another one, well, it's gonna be very bad. And only two turnovers on the Bucks. One block for Giannis, and four steals. Just a lot of work out there, but they're now they're just going to make a change up into another zone, as it will be another one to keep an eye on the run. Mobley back on the court, as Kevin Love will be sitting out for the bench. Levert, right over to Mobley. Mobley, right back to Garland. Back to Okoro, and he's fouled by Boris Jr. That's a number team foul going on Milwaukee first personal. Okoro will be heading to the free throw line to shoot two after marketing takes two free throws from here. Once those two verse seven seed is complete for the first game, we will head you back to the next one as we move on to the next one, three, seed, the third seed, versus the sixth seed, as it will be the Raptors and the Celtics playing at Boston, Raptors at Boston, and the Nuggets at Golden State in San Francisco. We're going to see what they could do. I think the Warriors are going to step on their way back, and I hopefully think that they can try to do a lot much better. We know that three players are already uh, injured. It was Draymond Green, Steph, and Steph Curry. Steph and Curry, I meant. But his brother is still playing. Well, it's a lot of uh, a lot of work for the use of it. You might see how it go. Allen misfires on the three as it turns around the other way. 63 to 60 to 51 is your score. Grace and Allen only have picked up two points in the first half and five points in the second half. Oh man, another drive in and he is going back in the lane. Levert catching up. He has 17 points in the game. It's now coming back down to 10. Garris Levert really need to try to stay positive out there. Allen, Middleton. Finds Allen. Three-pointer answers back. It's Milton with the assist, and they are dominating the run again and again. They really got a lot better. They did. Now he finds Levert, tries again, 
And it's no good. That's another miss for the Cavaliers. And they are in trouble. Bad pass on the alley-oop. And it turns over to be Cleveland ball. One more block here for Giannis with the mobile one block. They've done a lot much better. Even saying before, the king of the man, he really has gotten into it. But I do not see the foul calling for the foot. That might be very tough for him to keep an eye on. Garland right to mark it in. Now he will make some new changes here to bring it on offense. He finds a curl. Finds a Levert. Levert, bad angle on the shot. And it goes tipped off. One and two minutes, and Portis Jr., oh wow, that was Mobley again. Okoro, back over, Garland to take it back. No, sir, it's not good at all. The three-pointer is missing out the range. They really can't get in there to get another drive, but that needs to go for another one. Fighting the rebound is putting up for Milwaukee, and they haven't recovered. Roll it in, and they have the bucket. Timeout on the Cavs. 68 to 53 is a one-way kill on another. The Bucks are going crazy out there from this, from this regionals. They have a lot of them. I know they did, but that was just no option. Now I will be subbing out Markinen and bring back Stevens in because I know he's already out of breath, but he's not going to make it that time at all. All right. And I now will just change up one last look here to try to do another one. And now here is your New Balance player of the game. This game goes out to the one of a kind. Now he's an awesomest player. Giannis Anacumbo. Yeah, I know. The Greek freak. He really got done it before. Only had seen the block and just a dunk. They think they really had it all. But Team Cavs only won this Taco Bell Skills Challenge. I think it might be another one to keep an eye on. A minute and 22 remaining in the fourth quarter. Here's Garland, right to Stevens. He tried to ankle break it, but it's failed. Okoro, bounce pass to Mobley. Here he goes up, Mobley got it back. And it's Garland with the assist as they are bringing things down the wire from the game clock. It won't be enough for them to win the game. Anakumpo, inside, got it! Yeah, it counts in for another two-pointer, and it's another one to take the 20-point ahead. Levert, another foul, and you count that bucket in. And it's Allen with the foul, and giving up a little mistake out there, not just too much to bring. And now the players will be checking in here as much. It looks like all five players are going to rehydrate, and some of the other players might need to get back in to help them out. One shot will be on her way, and it may be a hard one for Levert to take the advantage. Levert has that free throw down. It's down to 53.2 seconds. Here's Hill. Hill. Try to work her way around the bit. Looking over. Another miss here from Milwaukee. Levert. Try to answer back away. Stevens, right to Mobley. Levert, again. Finds over Okoro for three, and didn't able to answer it. Monowara, finding Hill, and he will have to hold the ball with down the 15 seconds to play. Screen up, and here's a shot coming in for Nuora. They need to get it. The two, no good, and they will have to stop here. That will be the it. Your final score is 70 to 58. Bucks 
wins the first game and they're on the podium in the series over the Cleveland Cavs. Let's check you in with David Aldridge one last time to finish the postseason. Guys, and David, it's all yours. Thanks very much, Giannis. Huge, big win tonight. How did you do it? I think we just had fun. Uh, I think our guys were running to their spots. They were able to drop the lanes and they made it right pass. And we were knocked down shots. The ball was moving. We were defending. We were having fun. So that's why we got to win. So you need to patent that formula, I guess. Congrats on the win, man. Thanks. Back to you. All right, DA, thank you very much for joining us here. Now, of course, with Mika, I think Giannis is a lot much better to take the handle. Yeah, I know. It's a lot harder than you think. But this moment of time, maybe on a run. But the block, what a dominating performance run. Now let's check you in, the three star players in the, the rank, starting with me, I will take it first. Number three, we have is one the players that didn't really have it all, but they did add some couple points off the board, and that was the only man that himself that turned out to be just like that. It was Grayson Allen. Without playing with the Grizzlies, I think his next run can be tricky, but it may not be enough for him to try to go right from the run from here. Number two take. Here's Mifa. All right, thank you very much. Here's number three that we are all, all going for. It was a uh, very uh, tough run, and it was Karis LeVert. Only 20 points, three rebounds, six assists, and just four dunks to perform in each side of a half. I don't know what to say about him, but he's just going right in the flow. He didn't really want to mess that up. And now your take number one, you have it here. The number one star all the way Every day, Giannis Antetokounmpo, your ultimate New Balance player of the game. Only 20 points, and just a block he had bounded to be here. And a steal, five assists, and nine rebounds. I don't know what to say about him, but I think, hey, Giannis is the best player that he has ever played before. No worries, there's no trading him to the other team. He loves keeping the Bucks alive again and again. Sooner or later, it may be a legendary for him, but we don't know if he can try to work them up a bit. He's getting closer if he adds another two-pointer advantage. And that's going to be it for the playoffs of the Eastern Conference first round. I'd like to thank you all for watching, and join in tomorrow, as it will be the Grizzlies and the Timberwolves here on Wednesday. This has been a presentation here of NBA Playoffs, along of NBA 2K22. You can check out other videos that we have done commentating here on some of our games. We will see you all in the next game here. If you're in the Stanley Cup Playoffs on my channel, I will be back here as soon as I can. So thank you for watching, and until always, peace out everyone for as a while as the NBA 2K22 dial along with the NBA playoffs dial of the game. Thanks for watching, and good night of fearing the deer of Milwaukee. Didn't you know? Somebody